In this video, I'm going to demo the features of Locate Inventory, an inventory software we've re fallen in love with in the recent years, so much so that we've decided to offer implementation services and have been doing that. So without further ado, let's take a look at Locate Inventory. First of all, we're going to open up a browser. Locate is web-based, and so we log in from the browser. And so you can see the screen quite well. I'm not going to show the entire screen all at once. I'll move my focus around on the large screen behind it. The workflow is as such. Sales orders come in, create demand for the inventory. Purchase orders see that demand, and the system recognizes the demand and recommends what you should purchase. The system also has reorder points that the purchase order will look at and recommend what to purchase based on your reorder points and the demand as well. This is a key feature in inventory software, in my opinion, because it helps you keep your stock levels healthy, not too high, not too low, avoiding stock outs and overstock. So we have our sales, our purchasing, and our warehouse management. Locate Inventory is really strong with warehouse management. It has the two main features for warehouse management, and that is receiving and picking. And Locate is equipped with many options for fulfilling. These options are important because not every inventory company has the same workflow. Locate is a vanilla software, which means it works for a lot of different industries, not just one. So it's important to have many options, and Locate has many options. Locate, we found, is really strong in accounting. And what I mean by that is it's really strong with tracking, posting transactions, and thoroughly and accurately posting those transactions to QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Online, or Xero. Locate even has a copy of the QuickBooks or Xero chart of accounts listed in Locate, and also keeps track of the ledger in Locate. So if you ever need to track down a discrepancy and compare Locate and QuickBooks, Locate makes that job so much easier. I brought you to the account mapping screen in Locate. This is one place I think Locate demonstrates its strength in accounting and its connection to QuickBooks, is all the different accounts in QuickBooks Locate can connect to. Of course, Locate can connect to any account on your chart of accounts. This is just the default list. Locate also supports light manufacturing with its bill of material screen, its work order screen, and its manufacturer order screen. Now, one of the key features to look for when you're considering inventory software is visibility. When you have all of your people in the warehouse and the office entering transactions in, hopefully in real time, you can run a report or look at a screen and immediately see what your inventory levels are or your margins are, maybe the status of an order, whether it's a purchase order, a sales order, or a work order. So reporting is an important part of inventory software, in my opinion, and we've been impressed with the breadth and depth of the standard reports that Locate has as well. The reports have many options. Can be, they can be run automatically in many different forms, and they look very clean. And of course, this doesn't change the fact that you should budget for a custom report. Almost every company we help implement inventory software needs a custom report. Locate uses a reporting tool called Jaspersoft, which allows us to do just about anything with custom reports. And on the topic of customization, Locate's entire code and program is built off of API calls, which means there are no API limitations. Maybe I shouldn't say no. Maybe I should put a little disclaimer and say almost no API limitations. Our programmer loves working with the Locate API. So a strong reporting tool, strong accounting tool, a strong order management tool, and a strong warehouse management tool. So let's now look at the integrations that Locate provides. This is becoming more and more important when selecting inventory software. Does it integrate with Amazon? Does it integrate with Shopify? Does it integrate with ShipStation? Does it integrate with your accounting software? We serve QuickBooks users that are in the one to $250 million range. We find that most of our prospects start to shop for inventory software between the one to $15 million range. When you get to the one to $15 million range, that's when inventory software makes sense. Specifically, an IMS software 
an integrated management system type setup rather than a full-fledged ERP system. IMS inventory software generally costs five to $15,000 to implement, as opposed to ERP software, which may cost fifty dollars to $200,000 to implement, $50,000 to $250,000. So if you're a small to mid-sized company in the one to $15 million range, IMS or integrated management systems make more financial sense. So integrations are very important. I come here to Setup and Services and click on New Service, we begin to see all the types of integrations that Locate offers. Accounting, e-commerce, EDI, email file storage, etc. Printing, reporting, tax software integrations, shipping integrations. I'll click on the two most popular integrations, shipping, and all the different shipping type software that Locate integrates with all your popular carrier type software, and even some freight software. And then your e-commerce, there's a long list, I've got to move my mug for that. Amazon, BigCommerce, Magento, Cellbrite, Shopify, Walmart, WooCommerce, all your big players. And then with Locate's easy to use API, if there's not an integration there, which that's very rare, we can create a custom integration without dealing with API limitations on Locate's site. Be sure to check out my other videos for each individual specific screen. But for now, let's do a walkthrough of an entire workflow of entering an order and fulfilling the order and entering a purchase order and fulfilling the purchase order. So to create a sales order, we'll go to Sales. And notice there's also Quotes. I'm just going to focus on the most popular workflow. So I'll just go straight to Sales Orders. Click on the plus sign, enter a customer's name, click save, add a part, quantity, quick add, and change the order to an issued status. And of course, if you have a Shopify integration and you use Shopify, whether it's Shopify POS or Shopify e-commerce, both types of orders will flow through to locate. And the status of the order is updated between locate and Shopify. If you use Fulfillment by Amazon, the order won't come in to locate until it's fulfilled, and it will come in and locate will automatically fill it from the Amazon location. The workflow works perfectly. So you see the Shopify order I just created in Shopify is now in locate and ready to be fulfilled. Fulfillment begins in operation and begins with picking, unless you have a setting turned on with your ShipStation integration that skips picking. If your warehouse is small, say around 1,000 to 2,000 square feet, then Locate provides an option for a warehouse of your size. If you're on the larger side, say 10, 20, 50,000 square foot warehouse, Locate's fulfillment tools completely accommodate for warehouses of that size. Many different fulfillment options. One of which is the handheld mobile device. Sometimes it's called a scan gun. This can run on your phone or TC70, and this can be used for picking. Here are the picks that are currently created. We can decide what picks to create from the picking screen by looking at which picks are fulfillable based on the color codes, and then also prioritizing the picks based on the scheduled fulfillment date that comes from the sales order. We can start picks by order, by part, by customer, or by destination. Destination works well for those who deliver locally and want to create efficient delivery routes. So like I said, a lot of different fulfillment options to choose from. So Locate works for a lot of different industries. So we can create the pick, refresh the mobile screen, and pick. Go to the location it tells you to go to. In this case, it's stock, stock, and stock. If I go to a different order, we have a more realistic example where it says B1B or the backordered location. It tells the picker where to go to pick and how many to pick. Now I'm a proponent of using a mobile device. Using a mobile device really reduces latency. If you're having trouble with inventory accuracy, consider using a mobile recording device or scanning device. Scanning is even better because it improves accuracy for receiving and picking and moving and cycle counting. However, if you just make the step to record warehouse activity in real time, 
your inventory accuracy will greatly improve as opposed to putting a piece of paper on the desk and waiting for someone in the office to record a receipt or a pick or a movement or a shipment they can get to it the next step after picking is packing in this step the user tells the system what products are going in which box or on which pallet very similar workflow create the pack and record the pack on the mobile device or the browser if you're shipping something across a national border usually customs wants to know what's in the box if you tell the software what you're putting in the box then you can create a packing list fold it into four and stick it on the outside of the box if you need a bill of lading then consider using the shipping screen from the shipping screen you can print a bill of lading from the packing screen you can print a packing list here's an example of a packing list the final step is pickup this step reduces the inventory out of stock takes the inventory off the balance sheet issues the invoice in locate and creates an invoice in quickbooks quickbooks has a limitation on its api it doesn't allow all the information to go to quickbooks on an invoice so locate has internalized invoices and invoices are sent from locate to solve that problem and ar is managed in quickbooks payments can be received in locate or quickbooks you can receive a payment from the sales order or from the invoice or for e-commerce purposes if a payment is received in your shopping cart which is usually the case the payment record will flow through to the inventory software and then flow through to quickbooks if you're considering adding inventory software it's likely that currently you have shopify shipstation and quickbooks or some similar setup when inventory software is inserted the workflow changes the order goes into the shopping cart then into the inventory software it's fulfilled by the shipping software if you're using that or fulfilled by the inventory software if you're not and then finally flows through to the accounting software email templates are used to automatically invoice the customer out of locate if you require such automation otherwise invoices can manually be emailed to your customers if you have customers with terms so let's look at the purchasing side we just saw the sales picking packing shipping pickup the fulfillment side let's look at the purchasing side create a purchase order go to purchasing then you can create a purchase order one at a time just by clicking on the add purchase order button and select a vendor save and then add the items to purchase issue the purchase order simple the other way to create a purchase order is click new purchase order and then over here on the right click the auto supply button this is the button that takes into consideration supply and demand and orders already coming in and reorder points you no longer need a sophisticated spreadsheet to help you decide what to purchase how much to purchase and when to purchase you simply use the software's auto resupply button now if you're in a more unpredictable industry and reorder points and a purchasing tool is not adequate locate inventory integrates with inventory planner which is a forecasting tool that will create purchase orders for you in locate using complex forecasting algorithms that you use in that tool i'll click create orders and locate just created three purchase orders now we can go to those purchase orders qc them add or take away parts add or take away quantity and then email the purchase order to the vendor we don't want the software creating purchase orders and automatically emailing to the vendor I like software that is semi-automatic not fully automatic too much automation we lose control not enough automation we lose the value of the software so it's the nice middle point that we usually want the software to be the semi-automatic middle point so we can come to the purchase orders that locate created change or take away or add to the quantity locate also has complex vendor purchasing rules vendor cost rules minimum order quantity unit of measure rules or quantity increments and will automatically take those into consideration when creating the purchase order and making a recommendation for you of what to purchase so we change the purchase order to issue and click send email to email the purchase order to the vendor as you can see the email template is HTML so you can include logos and specific signatures in your email bodies and customize the email templates once purchase orders are issued they show up in the receiving area to be received a list of all these purchase orders 
Also, there are other types of orders that can be received, like return orders, if a customer is returning something. Transfer orders is another thing that can be received, another type of order. If you have multiple buildings spread out across the country, and you're performing transfers from one building to another, a transfer order is used and can be picked, packed, shipped, and received, with the shipping cost landed to the part at the point of reconciliation. Purchase orders can be received one at a time or in groups. This works well for those of you that purchase overseas, and oftentimes multiple purchase orders all come in the same container, and you're receiving a container, not necessarily a purchase order. So then you can receive by vendor, you manually create an item receipt. Over here on the right, we click Create to create the item receipts or the purchasing receipts, and then we can receive them from the browser to the receiving location, or we can go to the mobile device and receive them from the mobile device here on the receiving screen in the mobile device, like so. Once items are received, Locate has a put away function to help you easily tell the software what location you put it in. Instead of telling the software where you intend to put it, and maybe it'll end up there, maybe it won't, you tell the software where you put it after the fact. And the mobile device has a put away screen. You can scan the part number or select the part number. It tells you where that part number shows up in the warehouse already, so you can organize and take it to its sister parts, or you can select a different location to put it in. The put away feature really helps with managing back orders as well. I hear this all the time. Instead of putting the inventory back into stock and then sending the pickers to go pick it from stock and then fulfill the sales order from stock, you can reduce the number of touches and the number of steps through your warehouse by putting away to the back order location and then fulfilling the order from the back order location. This also helps with reconciliation. Some of you may require the order to be reconciled before it should be released to picking and availability. You may need landed costs to be included, for instance. So the next step is to reconcile the inventory that we just received. We can reconcile by order or pick and choose what to reconcile manually. Similar workflow, create, reconcile, and then complete the reconciliation from this screen. Reconciliation is where you enter the vendor's invoice into the inventory software and reconcile the cost of the invoice with the cost that was originally on the purchase order when received. If the cost changes, then the inventory software will update the previous cost with the new correct cost. Also, if you'd like shipping charges, brokerage fees, tariffs, anything like that to be included in the cost of goods sold of the part, this is the step to do that. Enter the shipping charges, and the shipping charges will be automatically calculated and spread out through the build costs. Once the inventory is received, it shows up in inventory screen to be viewed by site or by part. Inventory can also be seen from the inventory tab on the part screen to see what location it's in and the quantity you have and whether or not the quantity is available and why it's available or not available. There are also reports to show what is available to build for those of you that do manufacturing. The part screen also shows what orders the parts are on. And also, if we go back to the inventory screen, click on Go to Inventory, you can see the cost of the part, both the purchase cost, the last purchase cost, and every costing layer the system has for that part. And a costing layer combines the shipping charges and the part if you landed the cost on the reconciliation step. So notice there is more than one site, more than one building. Locate can most definitely track multiple locations in a warehouse and multiple warehouses across the country or the world, I guess, but really just country because the tax laws generally keep us in one country for one record. And you would need an additional account if you're in an additional country. So I think that's probably a good place to stop for an online YouTube demo of Locate Inventory. Please comment below. I'm sure you have more questions. If you'd like an own, your own personal demo catered to your own personal needs, be sure to go to our website and fill out a contact form to schedule your own personal demo. Be sure to subscribe so you can see other Locate Inventory software videos. Our tutorial video library grows every day.